We're counting down the top 10 green teas and seeing how they compare based on price, flavor, and health benefits. We'll be showing you some exotic teas, like the so-called emperor's tea, a tea that's actually roasted in a pan, and a tea that's named after a wild goose. We've traveled all around Japan in search of some of the best teas, and after tasting hundreds of different kinds, here are our favorites. Number 10, the Kamairacha Isin. This is that tea we were telling you about that's roasted in a pan. After the leaves are picked, Mr. Isson steams them and then roasts them in a large pan in order to impart a warmer, nuttier taste profile on the tea. Even though this is a Japanese green tea, it shares a lot of similar characteristics with a Chinese tea because of the pan firing process. You'll get flavors of cashew, nori seaweed, and even a hint of caramel. It's very rare in Japan as a whole, but farmers in Miyazaki Prefecture like Mr. Isson still make this tea the traditional way. This tea is very good, but it can be a bit expensive. There's another pan roasted tea on this list, but it's actually roasted even longer, to the point that it almost tastes like coffee. It's coming up soon at number 7 on the list. Number 9, the Murasaki Sencha. This is a tea we discovered when we were traveling in the south of Japan, and it's produced by the talented farmer Mr. Kawaji in Kagoshima. Mr. Kawaji specializes in these vibrant green, fukumushi-style teas. These teas are steamed for a longer time, and during that steaming process, the leaves are broken down, allowing more leaf material to flow into the cup. This creates not only a vibrant green color, but a strong, almost fruity flavor profile and additional health benefits compared to a normal green tea. The deep steaming process also reduces a lot of the bitterness, and for that reason, this has been one of the best teas we've found. But there's an even better Fukumushi Sencha coming on later in the list. Before we get to that, what was that wild goose thing all about? Number 8, the Karagane Sakamoto. This tea is named Karagane, after a wild goose, because when the tea is brewed, the stems float to the surface, and they resemble pieces of driftwood that wild geese may stop and rest on during their migration. This is referred to as a stem tea, or kukicha, but what makes katagana unique is that it's made from the stems and leaves of shaded tea plants. The shaded leaves provide a lot of sweetness in the tea, while the stems create a mild, straw-like flavor. The stems also give the tea more minerals and less caffeine when compared to a normal green tea, which is one of the many health benefits of katagana. The katagane produced by Mr. Sakamoto in Shibushi is deliciously sweet and fruity, with notes of cantaloupe and cucumber. It also works exceptionally well as a cold brew tea, which has earned it a spot in our ranking. However, it's not Mr. Sakamoto's best tea. For that, you'll have to wait for the number one spot. Number seven, the Hojicha Noike. As promised, there's an even heavier roasted green tea on this list. Hojicha is a type of fully roasted green tea, made by turning the tea leaves in a hot pan for a long time. During this long roasting process, the leaves change from green to brown, and they take on much more of these warmer notes of coffee, caramel, and even chocolate. The Noike Hojicha is grown by Mr. Noike in the middle of a pinewood forest near Kyoto. These tall trees partially shade the tea plants, giving them a sweeter flavor. Although the Noike Hojicha has a strong, roasted flavor to it, the taste is well-balanced and sweet. Number 6, the Henta Sencha Saimidori. To finish off the first half of our list, we wanted to mention a tea that has a great value for its price. This was a discovery we made when we visited the farm of Mr. Henta in Kirishima. Mr. Henta is an expert on green tea varietals, also known as cultivars, and he knows exactly which varieties to use to get the best flavor. This Sencha is made from the Saimidori cultivar, which is known for being one of the sweetest. It has a thick, almost syrupy texture and a very sweet flavor. Normally, a green tea with this level of sweetness would come with a steep price tag, but you can find the Henta Sencha at a mere fraction of the price at neoteas.com. We're already halfway done, but there's still so many different interesting teas to show you. We have the famous popcorn tea, a tea made by combining matcha powder with green tea leaves, and finally, the Emperor's tea. That's all coming up soon, but first, let's talk about the popcorn tea. Number five, the Gyokuro Genmaicha. It's known as popcorn tea because it's made by combining green tea leaves with toasted rice. Some of the grains of rice actually pop in a similar way to corn kernels, and they resemble pieces of popcorn. This method of combining tea leaves with toasted rice began as a way to make tea supplies last longer, but eventually people fell in love with the flavor and Gemaicha was born. This tea has a lower caffeine content and a warm cereal flavor profile. The Gyokuro Gemaicha is made from shaded tea leaves, so it has an even sweeter flavor with less bitterness. Number 4, the Shizuku Sencha. What makes this tea unique is that it combines green tea leaves with matcha powder. This tea is designed to make the ultimate cold brew, with the matcha powder being released into the water to create a rich flavor and vibrant green color. This was a discovery we made when we visited the small town of Shiran in southern Japan, 
and the tea has been among our favorites ever since. The matcha provides a boost of flavor, health benefits, and color. The tea works great both hot and cold, but it's mostly known as a cold brew, and for this reason, it's outclassed by the next green tea on our list. Number three, the Yamaga no Sato. This tea has consistently been one of our most popular green teas ever since we discovered it in Shizuoka five years ago. It's a blended tea made by combining the Yabukita tea variety with the Asatsuyu tea variety. This tea is carefully crafted in order to capture this distinct lychee berry note. This tea is fruity, complex, and it works great both hot and cold. The tea is also quite affordable, which sets it apart from the Murasaki Sencha further down on our list, which is a little bit more expensive. Like the Murasaki, this tea is a deep steam tea, which means it has a richer green color, fruitier flavor, and more health benefits compared to a typical green tea. For this reason, it's one of our favorites, but it's still not the Emperor's tea. For that, you'll have to wait to the end. Number two, the Macho Washimine. This is the only matcha on our list, but if you're interested in learning about the best matcha teas, we have a full ranking of the top 21 in a separate video. The Washimine is a powdered tea. It's made from shaded tea leaves that have their stems removed and they're ground into a fine powder in a large stone mill. When you mix this tea into water using a bamboo whisk, it concentrates the flavor and the health benefits. Normally, a powdered tea like this would be very bitter, but a talented matcha farmer knows how to produce a naturally sweet and smooth matcha that you can drink without milk or sugar. This one comes from the Nakai family in Kyoto, and it's made using the Okomidori cultivar, so it's even smoother. This tea has consistently been the most popular matcha we've seen, and you can find it at neoteas.com. Number one, the Gyokuro Cha Meijin. Finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, the famous Emperor's Tea. This tea, called Gyokuro or Jeidu, was once the tea of choice for the emperor. Before the use of refrigeration, the emperor would assess a tea's quality by how long it was able to maintain its flavor and Gyokuro would win every time. This tea has to be shaded for three weeks before the harvest in order to maximize its sweet and savory flavor. It can also only be made using the top three sprouts of the tea plant, as these are the richest in flavor and in nutrients. The leaves go through an additional rolling phase to take on their distinct pine needle shape. This rolling locks in the flavor so that when the leaves are infused into water, they can release it all at once into a delicious cup of tea. Mr. Sakamoto's family has been producing this tea for generations, and he has found a way to perfect that sweet and savory flavor that Gyokuro is famous for. This is his master's blend, giving it the name Cha Meijin, or master's tea, and it's made using the extra sweet Saimidori cultivar. This tea has a beautifully warm caramel sweetness, a high caffeine content, and a high theanine content giving you a long-lasting energy throughout the day. This tea has truly earned its spot on top of our rankings. If you want to try this tea or any of the others on this list, you can find them all at neoteas.com. Thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to see more tea videos in the future. But until then, we'll see you next time.